Hey everyone, this is Somnath Gaudar from Future Coders. In this video, we are going to be building this simple JavaScript project that is temperature conversion that just converts Celsius to Fahrenheit and back to Fahrenheit to Celsius. So let's see. Now if I type 1 Celsius and just gonna give us the Fahrenheit value of the 1 degree Celsius. Now if I change and it's gonna improve in real time, increase in real time. And if I say let's say 100 Fahrenheit it's gonna give our Celsius value of 100 Fahrenheit so guys this is what we will be building in this video so before we start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so let's get started <laughs> Okay, now inside of our Visual Studio code, I have already created a folder for this project and I have created three uh, files that are required. One is index.html, style.css and the script.js file. So let's define our boilerplate of HTML by pressing exclamation and hitting enter. I'm gonna name the title as simple temp conversion and let's also link our local CSS file style to css and let's also link our script.js file javascript file okay once we do that let's start building it right click and open with live server if you are if you don't have this option make sure you install an extension called as live server from the extension marketplace that's going to be not liver live server okay this one Ok now right click and open with live server. Wait for it. There we have it. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Ok. Now let's begin building this project. First off uh, inside the body I am going to create a container. Say a div with a class name of container. And inside the container we are going to have two separate containers one for celsius and one for fahrenheit so here i will define cf meaning celsius to fahrenheit in short cf okay now inside this we are going to have a label and that's going to be for celsius oh, it's hard to tie it's hard to remember the alphabets guys okay now let's also link our input and that's going to be sorry let's create our input of type number and we are gonna not have any name we are gonna have an id of celsius make sure i spell it correct okay now we are gonna have one more container that's going to be for the fahrenheit that's going to be let's say fahrenheit so F A I think it's I spelled it correctly. No worries, I'm just gonna copy paste this to save some time. Okay now Fahrenheit. So here and ID is going to be I'm just gonna copy paste again. Okay. Now Let's head over to our styles of CSS file and style it. And for the CSS, we are going to use a custom Google font. Let's search for Google fonts. And here I'm going to use, a, let's search for mono. Okay, this one, Roboto mono. And I'm going to need the medium, this one, medium 500. Let's import, let's copy this import code. Okay, that's it. Let's close this. Okay, now let's the by default the browser applies some default margin and padding. So we need to get rid of that. Let's say let's target everything. Let's set the margin to zero, padding to zero, and let's also set the box sizing to border box. And let's also make sure we set our Font family which we imported that's going to be this roboto mono let's also set a fallback font family that's going to be sans serif 
okay font size of let's say 18 pixels okay now let's target the whole body this one let's say height of 100 view heights background color <coughs> to this color i found this one a 8 b 7 e okay this one okay to make them align centrally vertically and horizontally let's say display of flex align items to the center and justify content to the center okay now they are perfectly aligned in the center now let's target the container this one which is having which is containing both of our celsius and fahrenheit so here let's target that and for the container i'm going to set the width of let's say 450 pixels and background color white let's set some padding 70 pixels to top and bottom and let's say 40 pixels to left and right and i need to actually set the box shadow of 0 20 pixels 25 pixels and rgba value of 0 0 0 and alpha value of not 0 0.25 okay 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 let's continue let's set the border radius of let's say 8 pixels and display of flex justify content to space between now let's target the this one cf container and let's set the width to 45 percent okay now let's target the input these both inputs it's gonna target our both inputs over here i'm gonna set the width to 100 percent height to 50 pixels that's looking great now let's also set some border radius of let's say 5 pixels okay why is it looking weird okay border radius of 5 pixel let's also set the border 2 pixel solid this one d2 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 little bit grayish okay i uh, will just fi i will fix it don't worry let's say outline of none okay now we have no outline let's set the margin to the top of 8 pixels and of padding of 0 and 10 pixels okay now let's head over to our script our javascript so we need to have access to whatever we type here right remember i gave an id for both of them one is celsius and this fahrenheit so let's access the dom by saying let celsius to i need to have access to that by saying document dot get element by id and i gave it an id of celsius okay now we have access to that now let's also we need to have access to that fahrenheit whatever we over this one right whatever you type we need to have access to that so here i will say okay now i will say remember guys i if i can i don't know if i will spell it correctly okay okay i hope it's correct okay now once we have access to that so we need to actually to keep track of whatever we type here right uh, it should convert celsius to fahrenheit in real time so we are going to use 
celsius dot on input okay on input is gonna fire off a function whenever we give some input over here so let's do let's fire off the function and inside the function let's create a variable output variable and we need to convert the celsius to fahrenheit right so here uh, let's say let's convert it to float by saying parse float and we're gonna have the celsius dot value okay the celsius dot value is nothing but whatever we type here the, this value so here so the formula is going to be this value the celsius value into 9 divided by 5 9 divided by 5 and sorry plus 32 okay this should be our formula to convert our celsius value to fahrenheit so once we convert it i need to actually convert uh, converter i want to actually display the converted value over here right so here i will say fahrenheit dot value i'm gonna convert it to pass float and i will output to fixed this two fixed is gonna convert our decimal value to two two decimal points so here now if i type something over here this is gonna give us the fahrenheit value of one degree celsius and i can do it now the same thing i want to do opposite right so if i type it the fahrenheit value the celsius value should appear right so for that the same it's going to be the same let's copy this and it's going to be for fahrenheit so when i type on the fahrenheit over here on input i need i need to create a variable output and we need to have access to the fahrenheit value and we are gonna append whatever we value get to the celsius over here and that's it okay now if i say okay we need to actually need to change the formula also we can't use the same formula right so here the formula for converting the fahrenheit to celsius is going to be minus 32 into 5 divided by 9 mm, okay it's giving okay i need to actually close it over here okay now now if i type here as you can see it's giving me the celsius value of fahrenheit if i type here this is the value of fahrenheit okay if i type uh, let's say 60 sorry 67.2 okay that's looking great okay that's it guys for this video hope you guys uh, learned something hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to leave a like on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so i will see you in the next one